Today I got the Bow Prime and it's a Karnan adapter for this weapon. So today I wanted to talk about this and also show you guys the build for my um, Incarnan Bow Prime. Alright, maybe for people that haven't just chosen the Bow Prime. Because the Bow Prime, I would say right now it isn't that great of a weapon. But with the incarnate form, is it, did it make it better? Or did it make it like just the same? Today, I'm just going to tell you about that. So, let's go ahead and take a look at its, you know, evolutions. Evolution 1 gives you, of course, when you activate the incarnate form, gives you 100% melee damage, gives you 4 range, 50% heavy attack efficiency, sprint speed, and bullet jump. Obviously, you can see all the numbers. We have for Evolution 2, increased damage by 30 with only a melee equipped 100% combo count chance. So, we're just going to only use melee. Alright, when we actually go take this in our Simulacrum. Alright, so we have Evolution 3. And this, well, this gives you a choice of to increase damage by 34 with armor over 450. So this was, what, 30? That's 34. You also get a 30 parry angle. And then you get 300% combo count chance while blocking. Now, that seems pretty cool, but again, not all that great. Like, I don't really need that nor would i ever use it because it just doesn't seem interesting to me evolution three all right i chose the five range which is amazing you get well it's 0 0.5 by the way you get heavy attack efficiency set at 20 percent or you get with only a melee equipped you get 20 percent movement speed but I'm going to stick with that. I like range. So, yeah. Then Evolution 4, our last one here. I chose Flashing Bleed. 40% chance to bleed on impact status effect. That's what I chose because that's a really good one. Or you can choose from increased critical chance by 6%. Status chance of the same. And or just increase status chance by 30%. I decided to go with this because this seems more logical and effective also bleeding on impact that's that's amazing because our impact damage is at 185.4 now so yeah i chose that so taking a look at the bow prime stats it has 24 percent critical chance crit multiplier 2.6 times that and 32 percent status 158.4 impact, puncture 17.6, total of 176 damage. So, that's pretty cool. The attack speed is 1.08. Like, everything's pretty cool about this weapon. From now it being at a really good stats, as you see below here. I think before, the Bull Prime didn't have any of these stats. But yes, the thing is, is that they did give it a boost of stats. And it was due to an update. I think it was a way back. Probably around the 24th or the 5th update. So around that time. But Digistream did give it a boost of stats. It did not look like this before. So that's pretty cool for them even doing that. Um, But... With this being a staff, I really don't like staffs, but I, I, I wanted to give a chance because with the incarnate weapons, I wanted to see if this would make the weapon stronger. And knowing Bow Prime is is it wasn't that strong, but now seeing with the stats increase, let's see how it is now. So this is my build setup. Alright. We're gonna use prime reach for one build, non-prime reach for the second build. With this, I all focus on um, corrosive. Obviously, I'm not doing viral, none of that. 
even though I do have obviously a bleeding effect on this weapon that might help with viral, but I don't really I don't use it because the staff doesn't really do slash, so I don't see the point. I really don't care too much. I think with corrosive and the fact that it still bleeds, it honestly plays really good. Like it plays out good, so I really don't care. Also adding in the relentless combination mod, all right? It gives you 100% chance to increase melee combo counter when slash status deals damage. So I thought, okay, well, since we're doing slash bleeding effects, technically, why not add this in? Now, you might not agree with it, but again, let's see how it does. So, of course, let's see how this baby does with the really nice range on this. As you can see, it's actually doing pretty amazing. I think this actually made Bull Prime a slight bit better. And I like the fact that there is a Bull Prime when it caught an adapter on it because well, that just gives it more of a chance to make the weaker weapons a bit better. And just to see how much damage you can do and how much value it will add to the game for people to actually play with the weapon. And that's where, I guess, that's where kind of like doing this, where can we put melees at a good spot? Because melees obviously were not in a good spot at some point. Now where it is now making melee weapons even better with this incarnate form or incarnate adapters, damn, this really might be the moving up to the next end game for melee weapons. Like, kind of like bringing it back end game, but not really technically, I guess. But we'll see, you know. But I want to see it on that right uh, weapon. Because that right weapon might be that in-game weapon. Moving on to our second build now. Non-prime reach with a little bit of prime reach technically. Oh, sorry. Not prime reach. With a little bit of reach technically. Alright? Because it's not prime reach. There's a difference. And I, I, I was just noticing that. I was just noticing that. Just because it has range on it doesn't mean it gives you a lot of range. It gives you 0 0.5 of the range. So technically that's not a lot. I think... Is that kind of the same as 0 0.3 range or 0? Sounds weird. I don't think my brain is kind of understanding it. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little lost when it says 0 0.5. But it might not be the same as the Prime Meech mod we're all used to knowing where it just says 3 range on the weapon when you put it on. So, yeah, it might not be the same. But, uh... But going back to this, I have the same thing on here. I also have the Gladiator Might mod now, which is just going to give me more critical chance increase. I'm sorry, not critical chance, critical damage. Um, and then whatever mod you don't see fit on here, you can just replace it out with Gladiator Might. You guys might want to refer back to Berserker Fury because I stopped using it. I only use Arcane Strike when I'm only using a melee weapon only. All right, so that's one thing that I, that I, why I use Arcane Strike, because I only use melee weapons only when I feel like using the melees. But you guys can still use Berserker Fury. I'm just not saying that, that it's not a good uh, mod or anything. I'm just not using it because like, I could fit something else on there. But even with the range, with 0 0.5, is it better? Am I having a hard time understanding that? That it actually gives better range than the Prime Reach mod? Because it seems like to me it is, but at the same time, not really. I don't know, man. Y'all just let me know the comments below, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna like stress out my brain further. But yeah, that's how this uh, build, how this build is gonna go. No, I don't think it is. 
No, I'm going to leave it at that, bro. I'm going to leave it at that because I, I really don't think it is. But anyways, yeah, I actually like this build setup. I actually like this build setup um, with the bleeding. It's freaking amazing. Do I need a relentless combination on there? And probably not really. But I thought uh, I thought it would be cool to throw that on there. Now we could replace it with maybe uh, some critical chance. I would say critical chance. Why not just add that in there? Let's see how it does. And add some critical chance in there. And as you see, it's red critting. Let the lit red crit in there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Damn. Wow, he kind of got wiped out instantly. That was weird. Um, but yeah, I, I think Relentless actually also played a huge effect in this as well. So Either way, you can go however you want with this build. You know, if you don't like it, you don't like it. If you do, appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. In the end, is this weapon really worth it to even get a incarnate adapter on this? Honestly, yes and no. Here's the thing about stats right now. Stats are the least weapons that are being used in the game right now like literally the least weapons that are being used in the game right now i bet you bow prime bow prime is the least weapon on anybody's mind right now because there's just other things that are better in the game right now uh especially when it comes down to a melee i think tonfas are the best thing that ever really kind of is still going on in the warframe for a fact, I think Tonfa weapons are the greatest at this point. Like, Horner Prime is our, literally our best Tonfa in the game. So, would I say this is worth it? No, because even without an Akarnan adapter on, you know, Corona Prime, Corona Prime still freaking dominates the game, whether you want to agree or not agree. Like, it literally still dominates. Even with an Akarna adapter being on Bull Prime, because Bull Prime, honestly, and it made sense why to put the Akarna adapter or give out an Akarna adapter for Bow, because this is the least played weapon, and it's not everybody's everybody's not really caring about the Bull Prime, or it might be a okay, I might pick this because I want to see where Bull Prime is at with an Akarna adapter and that's what i thought in my head i'm like okay i want to see where this melee weapon is at and i kind of want to focus on a little bit of melee weapons when i when i use incarnate forms or when i pick my incarnate adapter weapons because i want to see where melee stand is this making it better for melees did it make it better for bow prime a slight bit but not all the way like, not all the way. There's a better weapon than this. Not even... They didn't make it, honestly, that great. Even with the Incarnate Form on. So, but I am... I was intrigued. And I decided to go with this. Because... I just... I had to see for myself. Did this make Pro, Bo Prime powerful? Not really. Made it a slight better, but not really. So, yeah. I'm not too disappointed, to be honest. I'm not really at all for picking this weapon. It just shows you that... I don't know, like... It just shows you that maybe... I think Digitrine behind that was trying to get people to play with the weapon. Uh, rather than not just to uh, be selfish and throw it in there. And just like, why you pick this useless weapon? I think it was trying to get people to play with this weapon. See if they like it. But if I'm being honest, if I'm being real... This weapon still ain't worth it. I'm sorry. Just ain't. This incarnate form really isn't really all that to me. Um, it, it doesn't really make both Prime still playful. But what I will say is that um, it, it does need a new stance. 
Like, staffs need a new stance, Digital Stream. For a fact. Alright, like, this stance is garbage. I'm sorry. It, it has nothing to do with really most of the damage. It's just that it's boring. It's boring. The stance is just freaking, like, lame as hell. <laughs> like, I gotta be honest with you. Like, the stance is just that crappy. Like, there's... It's just... It's, it's just the same... It's, it's a little slow, too. And it's not even attack me. It's just how it moves. I just don't like how it moves. Like, I'd rather move a little quicker when it comes to it. Uh... To the staff, the combos, they're just, they're just all garbage. So yeah, that's just my um, opinion on the weapon. So let me know you, what you guys think in the comments below about this. And if you agree, let me know. But hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And leave a, oh, sorry, subscribe if you need their channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, I'm going to die. Ooh, well, kind of taking them down.